Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very important match day for Serbia. Yesterday, we were repping Croatia, but today, we gotta represent our brothers. Look, I know I get loads of comments about how I shouldn't be repping Serbia as well, but you know what? Mi smo zajedno. We gotta win together. Hopefully, we can make it both out of the group stage. That would be incredible. But today is a very big task for Serbia because they're playing the favorites of the entire World Cup. Everybody has this team winning the entire thing. Brazil. It's going to be a very tough first task, but I'm feeling more hopeful because what I heard is that Mitrovic and Vlahovic are both fit to play in this match. So if that's true, Serbia should be in great shape. That's a dangerous attack force. We all know that. But of course, Brazil's attack is also next level. So much depth in this side, it is ridiculous. Today's match is played at Lucille Stadium, so we're about to head there to check it out. Also, the area in general is supposed to be very nice. But before we do, here is a quick preview on both of the teams. World Cup favorites for many Brazil actually may not have an easy task ahead of them. Serbia do not have great World Cup history as they never made it past the group stage, and although these sides faced each other in the last World Cup, Serbia should definitely not be underestimated this time around. Their side has very much improved within the past four years. With such an electric attack of Mitrovic and Vlahovic, both setting goal-scoring records within the past two years, Tutelic, who has been getting a ridiculous number of assists recently, and Milenkovic Savic, who has been next level and the standout player for Lazio. Pixie, their coach, has also revolutionized this side. It has all been proven in the last World Cup qualifier run, where they topped Portugal on the final match day, and also topped their Nations League group in style. Of course, Brazil is Brazil. They are always a godly team everyone praises in this massive tournament. And although they have disappointed to their standards in the recent World Cups, this one will be much different. They were unbeaten in South America qualifiers, topping their group. Their depth is absolutely next level, especially in the attack, making them probably the best team in the World Cup on paper. Although Brazil have been unbeaten in some time, we already saw another South American giant who also were on an incredible unbeaten run get massively upset recently. A clear favorite in this matchup, sure, but we've already seen in this World Cup that literally anything is possible, and Serbia actually have the quality to put off a performance here. So we are in the Katara village right now. We're gonna be watching Uruguay versus South Korea before Brazil versus Serbia kicks off. What are your guys' score predictions? All my predictions have been wrong so far. <laughs> so, I'm going to say Brazil 2-1. Yeah, that's what I'm going with as well. What Brazil about you, Ian? 3-0. Ooh, Serbia, no what goals. <laughs> no goals. Dude, I'm dirty. They we got... are. <laughs> I got to go Brazil 3-1 with Mitro scoring the low goal for Serbia. Hey, that's what I like to hear, yeah. I think if somebody's going to score, it's going to be Mitrovic. He's been on absolute fire. I'm saying it finishes 2-1 for Brazil, but I really hope I'm wrong. I definitely think Serbia has what it takes to get a result here. I'm all Serbia. I already asked the other boys for their prediction. As you can see, this area is super nice. But, of course, we got to ask Mr. Giorgio here, the Paraguayan. What do you think is happening today, Giorgio? I think Brazil is going to win. Um, you know, especially after Argentina's loss, they're probably more motivated than ever. And I see this match being 2-0 for Brazil. Nobody no, from Serbia scoring? Oh, um, I don't know. Brazil just looks too dominant. Hopefully nah. it's a closer match than that. Uh, but I can't see Brazil losing. Their, their team is too stacked. I mean, just the fact that they didn't call up Firmino, that says everything you need to know about Brazil, you know? Mistakes, man. I mean, we're getting so many nil-nil matches out here. We just watched Uruguay, South Korea, like I said, and finished nil-nil as well. Croatia, Morocco, nil-nil. Denmark, Tunisia, nil-nil. So hopefully this one's not low scoring. We see a decent amount of goals. I'm keeping it at 2-1. I definitely think Serbia have the potential to score against that Brazilian defense. Mitro will be on fire today. I'm on.
What's your name? My name is Nikola. Nikola, nice to meet you. What do you think the score will be today? 3-1 uh, to Serbia. 3-1? Yeah, 1-1 uh, one, one half time. Second goal for Serbia is going to be around 60 minutes. And they're going to try to catch that, but we're going to score on a count. 3-1. Either one, who will score? Uh, who will score? Uh, Sergei Milinkovic, uh, David, Lukic, Paqueta for Brazil. And I uh, have Lakovic. Lakovic, Idemo, do you know if Idemic uh, will play today? Yeah, I have no idea. Yeah, we're still seeing, but hopefully he does because he will make a huge impact in this. Brazilians obviously are the majority in this match, but there are Serbians that have turned up. I am surprised Croatia weren't able to do the same. Serbia have absolutely came out here. There's obviously a lot of fans. We did go to the McDonald's free party, I guess. We were able to snack that. But Serbia should hopefully have an impact. Hopefully it doesn't feel like an away match like the last one for Croatia and Morocco. We shall see what happens. Either one, Serbia.
So it is officially the morning after the match. As you saw, our seats weren't as great as the Croatia-Morocco match. And we're not going to Serbia Cameroon, but we will be attending Serbia versus Switzerland. Now, unfortunately, Serbia could not do anything today. I was completely wrong on Mitrovic getting on that score sheet or anybody from Serbia in general. I really thought they could expose Brazil at least once. And they did have their opportunities, but they failed to do so. Brazil honestly could have won by so much more. Milenkovic Savic in goal was terrific. He had so many great saves, not to mention Brazil hit the post twice. To be honest, and I really hate to say it, it was a bit lucky. It was only 2-0 for Serbia. It could have easily been 4-5-0 or 5 -0 without their goalkeeper in between the sticks, like I said. The first half, it could have gone either way, but Brazil really stepped it up in the second. And throughout the match, they had so much flair. To be honest, yeah. This side really do look like World Cup favorites. Many people are failing to back Argentina now after they got upset by Saudi Arabia. They still have the opportunity to turn it around, but it might be a tough task ahead. Brazil with this great start. Bravo to the Brazilians. But now that this match is over, that was the final match of match day one. So we have an idea of what each group looks like so far. In group A, Netherlands sit at first with three points. Ecuador in second with three points as well. Senegal and Qatar in third and fourth. In Group B, England got a massive win against Iran, which obviously put them at first with three points. Wales and USA tied, so they're at second and third. And Iran are at fourth. We'll see if they can pick it up. In Group C, surprisingly, Saudi Arabia, like I said, are in first after that massive win against Argentina. Poland and Mexico tied, like I predicted, actually. And Argentina, very weird to see them in last place at the moment. In Group D, the previous champions, France, got a massive win against Australia, so they sit at first. Tunisia and Denmark drew nil-nil, and so obviously Australia sit at the bottom. Group E, we saw that Japan upset against Germany. A giant could definitely be halted and not make it to the knockouts. Bravo to Japan. They sit at second, Germany third, Spain in first after their massive win against Costa Rica, 7-0. Group F, Belgium sit at first after their narrow win against Canada, even though they played very well. I'm very nervous to play Canada now, I'm not going to lie. They actually had a fantastic display despite missing that penalty. They were in that game. 
They have shown that they belong in this tournament. They're at the bottom, but I really don't want to underestimate this side. Croatia, Morocco set at second and third. In Group G, Brazil with that win against Serbia puts them in first because Switzerland got a narrow win against Cameroon 1-0. And then Group H, Portugal got a very narrow 3-2 win against Ghana. And South Korea were able to hold off Uruguay, like I mentioned, 0-0. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. Very excited for match day two. Now, we got a lot of exciting matches to watch. The next one, as you can see from the kit, is going to be England versus USA. So hopefully this one's a banger. Hope you all have been enjoying the vlogs. If you are, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you all very, very soon. Take care. Lock with Norge.